You may evaluate this integral by u substitution. But first, we have to do a preliminary algebraic step. I'm going to multiply and divide by some power of x so that the denominator ha doesn't have two powers of x, but will end up having one power of x and a constant. So I could multiply and divide by x, or I could multiply and divide by x cubed. However, I also want the remaining powers of x to all ha be positive. Why? I don't want any more negative powers of x, so I should use x cubed. I'm going to multiply and divide this by x cubed, and then rewrite my integral. It's x cubed over x squared plus 1. Now I can do u substitution, letting u be the denominator x squared plus 1, so that my du is 2x dx. And I want to substitute in 2x dx for du. So to get 2x dx up here, I'm going to split off a factor of x from that x cubed. So I'll have x squared, and then I will have x dx all over the x squared plus 1. And I still need a 2 if I'm going to make the substitution, so I'll go ahead and multiply divide, and divide by 2. So 1 half out here and then 2 right here. And now this part is du. So I can rewrite my integral now as 1 half the integral of x squared du over u. Not quite done because I still have something involving x. I have this x squared. So, so this is that back substitution step where I go back to my substitution equation u equals x squared plus 1 and I need to solve for x squared because that's what I have left in my integrand. So, so I solve for x squared by subtracting 1 from both sides of this equation. So I get u minus 1 equals x squared. That's what I'm going to plug into my x squared in the integrand. So I can rewrite this as 1 half the integral u minus 1 du over u. And I'll split up this fraction so that I'm going to be integrating 1 minus 1 over u du. And so finally, when I take the antiderivative, I have 1 half times the quantity u minus the natural log of u, well really the absolute value of u, plus c, an arbitrary constant. Now I need to substitute back in my original variable x squared plus 1 for u to get the answer 1 half times the quantity x squared plus 1 minus the natural log of the absolute value but x squared plus 1 is always positive, so you don't have to have the absolute value in this problem, plus an arbitrary constant c, and that is my final answer.